Hi, my name is Zubin Garmani, and I am a professor at Cambridge University. I'm also one of the founders of Uber's AI Lab. And I'm going to talk today about machine learning and artificial intelligence, which is something I'm extremely passionate about. It's my research area, and it's something that I love and I think is fascinating. So let's start with, um, you probably all have something like this in your pockets. Have you ever wondered how, for example, that little box appears around faces when you point it at people? Or how it recognizes your speech when you talk to it? Have you ever wondered how you know, we might be developing things like self-driving cars? Or how, for example, DeepMind has managed to um, play Atari games at human level? or um, beat the world champion at Go, um, or even very recently there was this breakthrough uh, where computers were uh, playing poker better than humans. Um, so if you ever wondered about these things, well, the thing that underlies all of these, the sort of technology, the ideas that underlie all of this, uh, are machine learning and AI methods. And machine learning basically refers to the idea that uh, you can have a computer learn from data, from experiences. So rather than programming the computer to do something statically, the computer has a program that actually, um, as it gets more and more data, more experiences, it improves its behavior at whatever task you are trying to achieve. That's the basic idea of machine learning, learning from data. And one of the things that I love about machine learning is that it's basically, it's actually everywhere already. We have a lot of tools that we use all the time, sort of the examples that I gave you, like talking to your phone and things like that, or Amazon's uh, Alexa and things like that. They're already using machine learning. And it's making a lot of, uh, you know, aspects of our life more efficient. Um, it's uh, giving us more natural ways of interacting with computers. And it's sort of opening up a lot of really exciting future opportunities. So how does this all work? Well, what does it mean for a computer to learn from data? In, in fact, what would you need to, uh, you know, what would you need to study, for example, to become an AI or machine learning researcher? Well, obviously, <laughs> it's got to do with computers. So you have to be able to uh, understand how computers work, how programming works, the computer science ideas, and so on. That's pretty clear. But um, there's something else, which is there's a lot of beautiful mathematics behind how machine learning systems work. And the mathematics is the mathematics of learning from data. So uh, we have to understand statistics, which is actually statistics is the mathematics of how systems can learn from data. Well, when I was, uh, when I was younger, I thought statistics was actually quite boring. I used to fall asleep in all of my statistics lectures. Uh, only now that I'm older, I realize that statistics is actually, combined with computer science, is the foundation of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and all of these exciting technologies that are affecting us uh, now and are going to hopefully make uh, our life better in the future. Um, let me tell you something else that I like about machine learning, and that is that uh, it's it's really inspiring to see all of the different places we can use it. And it's also inspiring to think about um, all the different fields that touch on this. So for example, in my case, I started out interested in the brain. I, interest, I was interested in cognitive science, in neuroscience. In fact, I studied neuroscience for a long time because these two things are not unrelated. Um, you know, we can try to understand how the brain works at a computational level, but then, excitingly, we can try to build systems that learn in a somewhat brain-like way. I don't want to make the analogy too strong, because biology is very different from how computers work these days, but we certainly can get a lot of inspiration uh, from machine learning, you know, from how uh, animals and humans learn to build machine learning systems. My own research is centered on the idea that the machine learning systems we want to build um, should know when they don't know something. 
they should be aware of their own uncertainty. We don't want systems that um, are confidently wrong, because that would be terrible. Imagine we had you know, a, a medical diagnosis aid system that was confidently wrong, or a self-driving car that was confidently wrong about you know, whether there is a pedestrian or something like that. These things are really serious. We need to get these things right. And so my research centers around building machine learning systems that uh, understand their uncertainty, that are able to um, tell you when they don't know something, and um, that are able to make decisions or help people make decisions um, in a way that's aware of their uncertainty. Another thing I want to talk about is um, interpretability. When we build these machine learning systems, we try to um, get them to uh, do things, and if they go wrong, we need to understand um, what, uh, what has happened. And so if they're really opaque, they're not going to tell us, uh, they're not going to be able to um, you know, uh, help us understand what went wrong. So I also focus on interpretability. And a really exciting project we've been doing in my group at Cambridge University is called the Automatic Statistician. It's a machine learning system that basically takes data, it tries to find patterns in the data, and then it tries to actually explain those patterns uh, in English with plots and so on, producing automatically a report that then a human being could read um, and uh, that way understand you know, what's going on in the data. This is an example of one of the things that um, I've been very interested in and that we uh, worked on over the last few years. Um, the field of machine learning has been exploding uh, in importance in the last uh, five or six years. Uh, there are a tremendous number of opportunities for people to uh, do both fundamental research and work in industry, to work in the public sector, to uh, basically um, impact uh, human society in all sorts of positive ways. So it's a tremendously exciting time to be in the field of machine learning. Um, I got into it myself because I was curious. I wanted to understand intelligent systems and AI and so on. Back when I got into it, it wasn't useful at all. <laughs> um, so I was just driven by my own curiosity, um, like many researchers. So you kind of want to follow your, your passions and your curiosity. Um, now we find that it is incredibly useful. It's so useful that um, companies are investing very heavily in machine learning. Uh, we have many examples like Google and Amazon, Microsoft, Uber, where I also work at. And uh, you know, uh, the list is growing and growing of technology companies, but many, many other companies as well. Um, so there is uh, a really exciting future for machine learning. Uh, I think it's a great time to be in the field. And uh, I'm just delighted to be here talking about this topic that I'm so passionate about. So um, uh, thank you for listening.